Vietnam, I hardly got to see Saigon. They shaped us up and called the roll, and off we went on a long throw. Swapping lines, swapping flies, firing the odd shot here and there. The captain called a halt that night, and we had chow by the pale moonlight. A lovely dinner they planned for us with a taste like a seat on a crosstown bus. Some of the veterans just left theirs laying in the cans for the Viet Cong to find, but deadlier than a landmine. Naturally, somebody told a joke, and a couple other fellas began to smoke. I took a whiff as the cloud rolled by, and my nose went up like an infield fly. The captain, this, uh, Blonde fella from Yale, he looked at me and said, What's the matter with you, baby? Well, I may be crazy, but I think not. I'd swear to God that I smell pot. Who'd have pot in Vietnam? He said, What do you think you've been sitting on? These funny little plants. Thousands of them. Good God of my Pastures are plenty. So we all it up and by and by the whole platoon was flying high. With a beautiful smile on the captain's face, he smelled like midnight on St. Mark's place. Cleaning his weapon, chanting something about Harry Krishna, Harry Krishna. The moment came as it comes to all when I had to answer nature's call. I was stumbling around in a beautiful haze when I met a little cat in black PJs. Rifle. Ammo belt, BF Goodrich sandals. He looked up at me and said, What's the matter with you, baby? He said, We're camping down the pass and smell you people blowing grass. And since by the smell you're smoking trash, I brought you a taste of a special stash. Straight from Uncle Holmes' Victory Garden, we call it Hanoi Gold. So his squad and my squad settled down, had some lovely stuff around. All too soon it was time to go. The captain got on the radio, said, hello, headquarters. <laughs> hello, uh, headquarters. We have met the enemy, and he has been smashed.